Only thing left to do is add on your producer tag. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be remaking the song Pain 1993 by Drake featuring Playboy Cardi. Due to copyright, I can't put the full finished remake in this video, so make sure to go to the link in my description. I have another video where the finished remake is. Don't forget to follow me on my socials, at WTF Kyle Beats. Before I get started, I wanna give a special thank you and shout out to today's sponsor, Melodics. Melodics is a great app that helps producers learn their MIDI keyboard, MIDI pads, and drums, and you can click the link in my description to get a special deal today. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it. Make sure you open up FL Studio 20 we're gonna go to 77.3 bpm i know it's weird but that's kind of like what the song's at first thing we're gonna grab is this plugin called citrus apparently pierre uses it a lot so we're pulling it up for this song you're gonna want to left click right here and go to the swell preset and then turn down op number six all the way and these are the chords that we're gonna be playing for this instrument without any effects on them if you see at the bottom, I got the velocities turned down a little bit. The bass notes are a little bit lower. The middle notes are a little bit lower. And then the high notes are the highest. And then crucial for these, you want to make sure there's a small gap. It gives a lot of bounce. These chords, I'm going to throw in an EQ to cut out all those highs. Double it up to really cut them out. And then reverb just to make it sound a little better. It fills the room a little bit, makes it have like more of an organ type sound. All right, we're going to take these chords and we're going to paste them right here. They're going to play throughout the entire song. And so even though like these chords look super complex, they're actually pretty easy. This first one looks like a G minor, second one, E flat major. And I get a lot of people asking me like, how do you identify chords in songs? How do you make your videos using your piano? And the best advice I can give for learning chords and learning how to use your MIDI keyboard is by downloading Melodics. Melodics is an app that teaches producers how to use their MIDI keyboard, MIDI pads, and drums. If you wanna learn how to play hip hop chords and progressions on your MIDI, I'd recommend trying the fake Rolex lesson in the app. It teaches you each chord right as you're playing it in the lesson and also helps you with finger positioning but the app also has hundreds of other lessons across all music genres including everything from trap to jazz i use the desktop version of melodic so all i had to do is plug in my midi and start playing click the link in my description download the melodic app for free and enter the promo code wtf-kyle for access to a special deal Next up, we got this sound I like to call the twangs, which kind of sounds like a bell. We're gonna load up Nexus and go to this PL Hands Up Bells 2 preset. And these are the notes that we're gonna play in a piano roll without any effects on them. And so from there, I'm turning this way down at the bottom. I'm throwing on a reverb and then I'm throwing on an EQ. This is really gonna put this sound in the background, but it's gonna add some texture to the song. That's what Pierre did pretty much. And during the chorus, this is gonna play every other bar. So you'll just paste it in like this. The third sound we're gonna use for the song is like this echoey beep. It's really easy to pull up guys. All you're gonna to wanna to do is pull up Citrus. Literally don't change anything. Don't even select a preset. This is what you're gonna use right here. You're gonna turn this attack down just a little bit. It's gonna be playing a C. You're gonna want the velocity of the notes to go up like this, kind of giving it a buildup effect. And then this is what it's gonna sound like with no effects. Kind of like an alien's calling for help or something. And then we're gonna turn it way down just like the other thing. Put on some distortion and then throw on some reverb. The reverb's gonna enhance that echo and the distortion's gonna make it sound a little bit more analog 8-bit type sound. And this is gonna play every bar that the twangs are not playing during the chorus. So this right here is the entire melody, entire lead, everything we got besides the drums. I'll show you guys what it sounds like. Now for this beat, guys, this is super easy. All you're gonna wanna do is go to a pure porn pack, literally load in the sound called pure hat, pure clap, just kind of like a lure slap clap. And then the hats are gonna play eighth notes or 16th notes if you're at 77. That's gonna look like this. And then the clap here is just gonna play two and four. I turned it down for mixing, but there's no effects on them. It's a really simple beat. And these hats in the clap are gonna play throughout the song without any variation. That's what it looks like right there. And the last drum you're gonna wanna add in is just an 808. I'm grabbing the Let It Go 808 out of the Pure Pack. Normally his 808s are a lot punchier and a lot more bounce. For some reason, this song's a little bit low, but it's still got that bounce. It's what the 808 sounds like without any effects on it. This 808 is tuned to a D. So if we're leaving it tuned to a D, we're just gonna be playing B flats and then go up to C sharp right here. I've got a cutting itself and I've got an envelope on it just to make it a little bit shorter, a little bouncier. Paste that right in, it's gonna be playing throughout the whole song. Of course, you gotta throw in a little sausage, not too much though. You know what happens if you throw in too much. And the very last thing we're gonna be throwing on here is the crickets. I don't know if this is what Pierre actually used, but we're loading up some Cardi crickets right here. And it's just gonna play whenever this beep echo plays. So I'm gonna paste it wherever the echo is right here. This is what the crickets sound like. 
I mean, they sound like crickets. And then for these guys, turn them all the way down, throw in some reverb to add a little bit of an echo effect. Right click on this, create automation clip, paste the automation clip wherever the crickets are playing. And then we can have a little bit of a swell right here going up and down. Gives the song a little bit more bounce when you have that too. Only thing left to do is add on your producer tag. And there you guys have it. That's the whole beat for this song. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see the full finished remake again, go to the link in my description where I have it in the other video because of copyright. Let me know in the comments which song you guys want to see next. I'm hoping to do the Scots next week. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of a hard song. Follow me on my socials at WTF Kyle Beats and I'll see you guys next time.